Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Train Simulator. And today we're doing a scenario, the first scenario I've done in this game since February 2018. That is to say, the first video on a scenario that I've done since February of 2018. That was the, in a, a class 56 on the West Coast Mainline North route, and we're doing the same route today. West Coast Main Line North, but this time with the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 314. Very similar Class 313s run on the, uh, the Southern Coastway lines that are just, well, not, not, not too far away from where I live at the moment. This scenario you uh, won't really find in many places because I can't get it to upload to the Steam Workshop because of the fact that it's using the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 314 and also the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 37. Oh yeah, uh, that means I made this route. Uh, not the route, the uh, scenario. It's not going to be incredible. It won't be packed with trains. I do at least like some frame rate. So we're going to get started and yeah, we'll, uh, I'll meet you back when we're in the cockpit, not the cockpit, the driver's cab of our class 314. And here we are, I've paused the game briefly to keep the uh, the, first, the starting message up on the screen. If anyone's interested, I, I will be leaving a, uh, a download link for this scenario in the description. I'll also leave the requirements in the description as well, because it does, it does need a few uh, of the... Uh, Armstrong powerhouse things to actually work. Seriously, I kind of swear by Armstrong powerhouse, but we're gonna get started. I need to be lightning quick with my reading on this. And it went away. Okay, well, the gist of it is we're starting here at Glasgow Central lower level. Uh, we've got to open the doors. And now we've also got to... The reverse, get the reverser into neutral, we'll put it back up into forward. Got to remember that this has a dead man's handle. Light situation. Uh, ah yes, we've got a, a shift into H to get the headlights properly. Right, and we're driver controlling the doors today. With units 314, 211 and 314, 206. Next station is Argyle Street, not shoe recommended. And sure, all doors can open on arrival. That's basically saying uh, the platforms, especially on the older routes, can be quite finicky. So if your train isn't lined up in the right place, you can have it in a way such that uh, the doors, some of the doors don't open. That's really annoying. We don't want to go too fast here. I think we'll uh, just de we'll let off the throttle just about there. 35 miles an hour is good enough. And we'll start getting the brakes up into step one. Step two. We do want to get to a nice point. Go down to step one again. Step two, going in a bit too fast, so we'll go to full service for a second, and back down to step two to bring us to a stop. I was not very confident there. But we'll open the doors, and it appears all the doors of the train have opened. And coming onto the other platform of Argyle Street is... Class 303, three carriage. I did a uh, kind of mess things up a bit because I forgot to change the uh, oh the destination board on the rear coach. That's slightly annoying. Yes, it's uh, something about these 
the route that I tend to make because I don't always I don't go on these lines. I've never been on a train this far north. This is in Scotland after all. I've never been on a train in Scotland. I don't know the routes they take. So uh yeah, I've just had to sort of bodge some things and hope it sounds right. Anyway, next station is Bridgeton. It's no real um Big instruction changes to come. Down to notch one as it keeps us going at a fair pace. Ooh. Actually, notch one will still keep us accelerating, so we'll just coast until we get to uh, this incline here. I didn't turn on the GSMR, but we don't have a. a uh, I haven't programmed a, oh, what's it called, a head code onto this train. So the GSMR is currently useless. It doesn't work. I don't think it does. Yeah, we're holding it down, it's not working. Oh, it did work. Radio lost because we're underground. At least I think that's why it's lost. Anyway, time to stop fiddling around with the uh, radio. Our next platform is up next. I don't believe it takes all six carriages. It actually might. Yeah, it should. But uh, it has been a little while since I tested this route. Month maybe. Go back up, up to step two, please. Ah, yes, it will take us. Unfortunately, this is one of the more finicky platforms. We need to go to full service here to bring us to a stop before the signal. And that's good enough for me. Good enough, close enough for government work. And all the doors have opened. Oop, we've gone into the 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 the, 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 the wall. That's it. <laughs> I don't exactly have a script when I do these, so uh, I do sort of freeze up occasionally, lose the words sometimes. That's how it is when you have Asperger's. But then again, the Asperger's means I have an interest in trains. Right, so the next station is Delmarnock. Owing to a short platform, passenger to this station must alight from the front three, three coaches. Yes, yeah, so Delmarnock is another one of those finicky stations, and that I think at most two carriages on this train will, uh, will have the doors open, even though three of the carriages will be at the station. Um, obviously, because there isn't a uh, inter inter unit gangway on this train, that means t the passengers actually can't switch to the front unit, <laughs> the front three carriages, which is a Slightly annoying, but I suppose we could pretend this is a. As this is meant to be an early 90s scenario, we can pretend that maybe it's a class 318 that still has the, uh. the gangway. Step one, back up to step two. Ideally, we want to be coming to a stop just before this bridge, the uh, steps for the bridge, because then at, at least two carriages will open. And that works for me. And there we go. As you can see, the uh, oh, the this carriage, this third carriage is on the platform but the doors are not opening because bad programming <laughs> uh, we can test the uh, test fail because we don't have anything yeah we'll just 
don't think we can turn it off. Next station is rather good. Uh, oh, we turned on the light. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, you know, we'll just leave that alone. <laughs> Don't really know what else to use with it. It'll just say radio lost because I didn't program a head code. That's fine. Use full power to get up this incline. Get us up to 40 miles an hour quickly. I suppose we'll coast from here. Over this bridge. Which, uh, I don't know which river this is. I'm, I'm sorry to say. I am not a expert on Scotland or the Glasgow area. The River D, maybe. I think it tells you in a scenario somewhere. So we're approaching Rather Glen. It seems that part of the platform has failed to load. <laughs> That's a, a little odd. Kind of annoying, breaks the immersion. And we have a yellow signal. Also, need to be very, very careful with this platform. We want to get the signal just out of view. And hopefully, all the doors will open. And that is the case. All six doors, all six carriages have their doors open. Now you may be able to hear a deep rumble in the background. That's the Glasgow to Euston service and the Euston to Glasgow service. As this is meant to be an early 90s scenario, I decided to use two different liveries for these two HSTs that are coming up. I do believe they would be HSTs. Next station is Campbell Slang. Let's close the doors. We may be held as a signal to allow other services to pass. Oh yeah, we don't have a guard, do we? <laughs> Let's go up to notch two. We'll go switch to an external cam. And there's the Houston to Glasgow service. It's an intercity swallow. It's a seven carriage train. Stop accelerating at 20 miles per hour. Coming from behind us is another HST in Intercity Executive Livery. And I think this one is an eight carriage train. Indeed it is. It is an 8 carriage class 253 unit. I, I think that should be 254, but yeah. Anyway, we've got a red signal ahead. Um, I've kind of programmed this route, this scenario around this. Go too early and things don't line up. Go too late and things don't line up. And you get delayed all the time and it's not... It's, it's not a very good scenario. So this, we're going to be waiting for another train coming from uh, the junction up ahead. We have to. We are continuing down onto the route that that HST has just taken, and whilst another service is coming to come down, take from this line. That's coming from a uh, Carmichael. I think the service is. As you can see, it's a three carriage diesel service. Carmichael. That's it. Almost there. <laughs> So yes, that's a three carriage class 101 in Strathclyde orange and black. We'll be waiting here for a little bit. 
as that uh, those Class 101s are not exactly renowned for being fast. So there's the Class 101. It is moving at a fair pace, but it's got to clear this signal here before we can get a, a, a go-ahead a go signal. It is moving at quite the pace, isn't it? It's going much faster than I thought it was. Signals are the points are switching, and there we go. We have a yellow proceed with caution signal, and the bar allowing us to switch over to a different track. We're going to accelerate up to 40 miles per hour, as that is the speed limit for the switches, the points. I had wanted to make this scenario so we went down there, but uh, you can't do that because there's no electrical overhead wires. So our next station, Campus Lang, it's less than a mile away now. We can accelerate up to 75 miles per hour. We won't reach that, of course, as Campus Lang is too close. Bit of game lag as the assets load in. And as you can see, we have another yellow signal. We're not going to be able to even accelerate up to 60 miles an hour. We're going to revert the view, and then we're going to start braking at step one. The brakes of the 314 do seem to be quite uh, effective. It's kind of a shame then that none of that only one of these units now remains. They were all retired last year, and only one of them remains, uh, well, in one piece. We need to go up to full service to bring us to a stop quicker, down to step two, and back up to full service. and open the doors. And all of the doors are open. If you go too far on this platform, the front, the carriages on the front door will not open. So, yeah. Kind of annoying that the platform goes all the way up here, but the doors won't open beyond sort of that point. Now the train is approaching. Oh, Next station is Newton. As I say, I don't exactly know the, tra the routes these trains take, so maybe this isn't exactly realistic. Another Class 303. Once again, a three-carriage unit. And we're accelerating. Now, we have to be fairly quick, as there is another express service coming down this line. So as you can see, we have the flashing switch ahead light, yellow, amber light, whatever you want to call it. We'll be switching over to to uh, another track to, to stop at Newton. Yeah, as I say, I have no idea if this is the route the trains tend to take. It probably isn't. Notch 2 is not enough, let's go up to notch 4. We'll hold off at about 55 miles an hour. 
and we'll slow down just before we hit the points. As although it says 70 is okay, we're pr quickly going to go down to straight 50. So we drained off a lot of speed at the coast. Now switching over to the conjoining track between the main line and the Newton branch. Of course, we won't be staying on this this branch line. We will be going um, back onto the main line briefly before branching off again. Very careful with this. And hopefully all the doors will open. Sorry about that, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist, or OCD, whatever you want to call it. As we wait here, we can see another Class 303 coming from uh, the Hamilton branch. This branch, this part of the map. And from behind us will be a express. Glasgow to Birmingham New Street. So that was a class 86 pulling a rake of 8 Mark III coaches. I've used the coaches from the class 87 intercity back as they look a lot better than the coaches that come with this route. We have a red signal at the moment, we're going to stop accelerating. The signal will change to yellow fairly shortly. But uh, the express service has not yet cleared it. There we go. <clears throat> so this is the signal we've got to uh, rely upon. It is not this one, this is a shunting signal and that's for this line. <coughs> Switching back onto the main line, we'll be briefly stopping at Uddingston, which is the next station in one and a quarter miles, or one and a fifth now and shortly we'll be able to accelerate up to 90. This train though is not really supposed to do 90, it supposedly only has a maximum speed of 75 miles an hour. Which I'm not sure if, it, if that's true, I've been able to do upwards of 85 on the, with these things. Maybe you're not supposed to do that. One thing is for certain, these trains start to lose acceleration around the 60 mile an hour point, and it gets harder and harder to accelerate.
gonna have to keep going into full service at some point um, because it's been a, a bit too long since I drove this this uh, train and this scenario so I'm a bit uh, rusty when it comes to, to driving this train I did I did test this uh, route quite extensively scenario even and come to a stop and this platform is a bit too short for all of the doors to open even though that is fine come on <laughs> but yeah we've cut this pretty close if I stopped any liter the front doors would not open so that would have been annoying get down to step one brakes Attention driver, a freight train has broken down on the points beyond Hollytown and is blocking the route to Weshaw. A Class 47 Thunderbird is leaving the goods yard ahead and may hold you up. Proceed to Bells Hill for further instructions. So we are continuing straight on here. We are not taking the points. Uh, the train is not wanting to move. There we go. So yes, we are proceeding through this route, as you can see, rescue light engine, through here, and we're meant to be going past through Hollytown, down here to the Wishaw, but as you can see, a freight train has broken down on the points, and therefore we cannot proceed through Hollytown to Wishaw, we're going to have to completely skip uh, Hollytown. Now this signal that's coming up, it's it's evil because you can't see it until it's almost too late. So we need to start braking now. And there is that signal and there's the rescue light engine of class 47 large logo. That will be going to take the class 37 the freight train that is on those points and uh, yeah basically drag it off the points unfortunately that goods yard has a uh, very very low speed limit it's about five miles an hour which is not great to be honest I mean come on you can move faster than that, can't you? Yeah. So we're going to have to wait here. We use step two of brakes. We're getting the... Uh, that uh, rail clicking sound that you get when uh, trains are approaching and get going away. Even though it's that train is not... That class 47 is not moving fast enough on these uh, goods rails. Yep, yeah, it's now accelerating away. It's a while until it reaches the next uh, the next signal. So we'll be waiting here for a little while longer. I believe it has to clear M19188 just ahead. Credit to the driver, though. He's pick up, he's picked up the pace. He knows he's got pa a passenger service waiting to uh, to go. And there's the yellow signal. Oh, I've just noticed. The tracks are floating here. Very difficult to tell, but they are definitely floating. Anyway, at uh, 20 miles an hour, we'll go up to notch 3. And at 30 miles an hour, we'll go up to notch 4. Quite the steep incline up here. Not quite, not the same incline as on a on the main line down to Lockerbie. But, yeah. Still quite an incline. Hmm. <coughs> 
<clears throat> so the next station is Bells Hill. Normally we would go on the to Holly Town or Holy Town, whatever you want to call it. I I, I think it's Holly Town because it's uh, it's Scottish and they're they're, they're they're weird. Everyone's weird. Be happy about that. You're weird. I'm weird. You're weird. Everyone's weird. And some people are just twats. But hey, at least you're not there, right? Oh well, I don't like trains. Let's, I mean, you like trains. That's. Should I just meet that? I don't know. Maybe I won't. I'm just being weird. Up to step two to stop at Bells Hill. Step two, really got to use it. Yeah, the game's lagging a bit. As it loads in assets, go down to step one. Release the brakes a little bit. Back up to step one. And there we go. And all the doors have opened. Woohoo! As you can tell, it's not exactly a very busy day. I suppose it's a Sunday. I mean, that we aren't on a strict timetable. So, I just wanted it to be a little bit of a lazy route. A lazy scenario. So, there's that. So, we'll get our instructions for what to do. New instructions driver, due to the broken down train, this service is now diver diverted through Motherwell. Allow passengers to alight at Motherwell and shield Moor. Strathclyde Transport apologises for any inconvenience caused. <laughs> I, I kind of, I suppose I like these little touches I've done to give the impression that this is a real train. I mean, sure, the driver would exactly be hearing it, but uh, it's a thought that counts, right? So we have another yellow signal. We'll be taking uh, the route down past the Motherwell uh, sidings into Motherwell and then past Shieldmore. We'll be taking the diverting line up into Wishaw. slow the train down to 28 miles an hour as there's a bit of a decline into a uh, through the junction and that speeds you up a little bit so down to 28 we'll speed up to around 30 as we go down this decline Too much brakes there. Press the wrong button. Button. <laughs> and behind us, there should be. I uh, can't tell from there. 
But behind us, there should be another freight train. I believe it's empty wagons. A mixed train of a TEA and HAA. And uh, a pair of Class 47s double heading it. And we can accelerate. Technically up to 75, but we will have to slow down at some point. Yes, in about a mile we'll have to slow down to 15 miles an hour to traverse yet more switches. More assets are loading in. Going past the uh, train care yards, and, or whatever they're called, TMD sidings. A couple of locomotives here, a class 37 and a class 47. If we look, well, look over there, well, we can't anymore, but uh, there's a couple of class 47s, uh, not 30, 47s, 31, 303s, and ooh, 314s. Got to come to a quick stop here because we have a red signal. Okay, that's slightly annoying. More Mark III coaches, and behind the coaches is actually a uh, class 87. That those coaches belong to, technically, from that pack. More stuff loading in, it's annoying. We had that red signal as another train has gone through. Glides go to Edinburgh. I don't even know if that's right. It's another class 86, or it's a class 87. One of the two. I don't even know if it, that's the right consist to use, but whatever. And at the platforms of Motherwell is another class 314. I think it's a double unit. <coughs> so another. Three, six carriage train like this one we're in. Speed up a little bit. That 314 there is now leaving. I think the numbers are right. 201. Oh, it's only a three carriage unit. So 201. Moving fairly slowly as he, they are going on the main line to Glasgow. Gonna keep the speed low here as we're just pulling into the station. We'll we will we'll, we'll be allowing passengers to alight and board. Can't go too far though because around this point the station stops being a station for some reason, which is kind of annoying. And we'll start coming to a stop. And let passengers let passengers board. So here's that freight train I was talking about. It's got some uh, six empty. Uh, those aren't TEAs, are they? Uh, six empty tankers and six, uh, a handful of uh, empty HAA coal wagons. The next station is Shieldmoor. So that freight train is waiting for us to clear Motherwell and shield more. It will be continuing down the main line. 
but I think we will be bumping into it again at some point. So we have a solid double yellow ahead. We're going to have to come to a stop at the Shield Rod Station. Because it's not just the services to through la, into Wishaw from Hollytown that have been affected, it's, it's also the services from Wishaw into from Wishaw into Hollytown that have been affected. That was a bit of word salad. Hopefully it made sense. But yeah, it's not just Western services and Eastern services are affected, so we've got to wait for a eastbound service, a westbound service, sorry, to enter Shieldmoor from the diverting line, the connecting line exit. This also means we'll get a rare sight at something that uh, I believe was quite new at this point. I should have been quite new. It's it's sort of um yeah. I don't know when these were introduced, so maybe it's a bit anachronistic. But it's supposed to be fairly believable. It's not meant to be completely realistic. But as you can see, pulling out of the post office platform is a triple 12 carriage 325 unit. Class 325. So yes, a rare running indeed, or at least one you don't see every day. Be pulling in fairly slowly. And hopefully, all the doors can open. And indeed, they have. So now we're waiting at this uh, red signal here for this wish all service just to make sure the uh, train here still blocking both of the lines the light engine has come to a stop at Hollytown whilst they figure out how they're gonna do this I what I really wanted to do was a uh, yeah so proceed to wish all through the connecting line you may need to wait for another effective service to traverse the line first so yeah that's what's happening to us I wish our train left first. We could have waited for it. We won't close the doors just yet. But yes, uh, rescue light engine. I wanted to proceed down this line, go back on to, down to Hollytown, and then connect up, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. Hollytown platform 1, that is. So I just got it to stop here. Give the impression that they're uh, planning whatnot. So there's the approaching unit. It's a six carriage, class three one four. Hopefully the number, the unit numbers on both of these units aren't too high, as there were only sixteen of them ever built. So hopefully there are no three two fours, three one four, two o, two two one or whatever. But we will close the doors now. So that's two one three. And the other one is two one six. So that works for me. That's a two one six. That should be the the last of them. Maybe it's a bit too high. Oh well. At worst, it's one unit number high. 
So we're going up the connecting line. It's quite a slow line. It's only also only single track, which is doubly annoying. It's also steep enough that notch two is too much power, but notch one is not enough. So you'll constantly be having to switch between notch one and two of the power handle. Which is just extra annoying. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, we lose speed in notch one, it's just not getting enough power into the motors, but notch two keeps us accelerating. Why can't there be a notch 1.5? I'm going to let off the throttle here to allow us to coast back down to 30 miles an hour, which is the connecting line speed onto the Wishore branch. So, <clears throat> we'll, uh, yeah, 35 miles an hour, maximum speed, we'll stop braking. I'm sure it's quite a finicky platform, I think, once again. They're all really quite finicky on this, uh, this route, which is annoying, but it's old, so I suppose there's that. And also, <laughs> they're phased through the floor, so there's that as well. <laughs> Uh, talk about uh, bad programming. And we'll come to a gentle stop at step two of brakes. So in the distance you can hear the empty freight service as it passes by. It'll be heading through Law Junction which is just ahead. What's very annoying is that when I was making this uh, scenario, it was for some reason sending us through the loop, even though there's no reason for us to go through the loop. Just go. I had to specify onto up main, the the main line, and not the loop. Proceed through Lord Junction to Carluke. Okay, uh, it's really annoying when it does that. If the sometimes the doors haven't closed enough when I put the power handle up into a notch too. Yeah, whatever. I suppose. But yeah, we should get a fair look of speed. It's at four, just over about four and a third of a, a mile into Carluke which I believe is the penultimate stop of this service. As it's a more or less plain sailing from there. Straight line, fast speed, and there is that empty freight service again on the uh, overhead map. I believe it is going to be held to allow us to pass.
a speed limit of 60 coming up. That should be easy enough to rectify. We just coast back down to 60 if we need to push on the brakes. Of course, there's another speed limit of 50 coming up, so we'll have to put them on the brakes regardless. There we can see the tail end of the freight service being held at Law Junction to allow us to pass. As it is empty freight, it is a, a lot uh, less of a priority. There's also a bit of broken ground texture there, but who cares. Down to 50 as we pass over the loop, the loop uh, points on switching onto the main line, and then we can put accelerate up to 85 miles an hour briefly before up to 90. Eighty miles an hour, sorry. So there's another class 37 in the yard there, the class 47 as well. And some empty HAA wagons. Probably not the place they'd be stored. But then again, I've not exactly been on this route in real life, that is. Under two miles to go to Carluke. Speed limit goes up to 95 here, but this units cannot reach that. Top speed of 85 only. Or oh, 85. Absolute maximum, I think. It's the most I've been able to get out of this. Going up an incline, we'll start let off the power and start braking about 0.6 of a mile away. I have to use full service here as we're coming in a bit too fast. Ooh. Here comes another service double heading, car 67s on a container freight train. I, I really much do have to say, Armstrong Powerhouse's uh, Class 37 uh, Enhancement Pack is just fantastic. What is its locomotive pack? I think it's an Enhancement Pack, actually. So he's coming to a brick to a stop. Okay, next station is Lanark, where the service terminates. So he's coming to starting to slow down as behind the slow freight train is a much faster express passenger service. He's going to stop at a Law Junction down loop for this service, which I pretend is from Edinburgh. So an Edinburgh to Glasgow service. <laughs> or wherever. Inverness, maybe. I just called it the Carstairs Lever, as that's where it started. Obviously, we're not going to Carstairs. We're stopping at Lanark, which is a separate branch line. Where this service will terminate. Hmm. 
I don't remember programming that, but oh well. <laughs> so it's a straight run to the junction that leads into Lanark. And the scenario will end there, and where this video will end there as well. should also be able to use the horn at some point. And I do like the horns. Seriously, the best part of any train, aside from the engine, is the horn. Oh look, there's some kids on this bridge. Hello. <laughs> I did actually get to experience that lately. Um, a couple of some kids on a bridge waving at a train that was leaving the nearby station. And because it was a footbridge, I was walking down this footbridge. And as this train was leaving, it hit the horn and I... Oh, God, the... Low tone on that 377 was a uh, not unlike that of a fighter jet going by. Anyway, here's another train. That's the Carsters leaving service. There's a class 87 with a rake of eight Mark III coaches. No driving van trailer or braking coach, as I don't really know if they, they would have had one. I decided to try and to limit the number of uh, Armstrong powerhouse packs, and I didn't put a, a Mark III driving van trailer on the back. Even though I know that they could do that. Speed limit goes up to 100, but uh, this train won't reach that, and it's... you won't be able to reach it anyway as the next signal is going to be the uh, flashing signal to the next two switch. Take the points. There we go. So let off the power here. AWS goes off. Let me set it with the switch. next signal aspect will be a single flashing yellow, and at that point we start braking. Speed limit for the points is 40 down to 35. Also we use step one brakes. Maybe a bit too far, so we'll just keep coasting at a 75-ish miles an hour, 76 I suppose. Breaking now. Step one breaks. And is that a whistle board? I see. It is indeed. I've spat on my screen. Oops. <laughs> Oop. Honestly, I hate the horn regulations now. How they just how they say uh, that. Uh, when you approach, when you hit, see a whistle board, you should only do a, a couple of low tones like this, or something like that. Just use the low tone. No, we have a high tone for that for the reason to sound cool. So we're not, we don't sound like American trains. <laughs> so briefly down to forty, and then brief. So decelerating down to 35. Step one breaks again. And we are now onto the Lanark branch line. Single track branch. 
except at the station itself, which is double track. I wonder if, I think, given how wide this bridge is, I think this did used to be a double track line at some point. Speed limit is going to go up to 60 past this board. We won't reach that though, Lanark is too close. It's two miles away. Actually, will we reach that? I'm not sure. We, this train does accelerate qu pretty quickly, but then it sort of tails off. And yeah, as you can see, it's telling off now. We are going up an incline as well, though, so maybe that's part of the reason. This must have been a double track line at some point. Very strange double track line. Ooh, lots of lag. Yeah, indeed we will actually reach 60 miles an hour, but we will have to start slowing down. And there is no warning board for the 50 mile an hour, so... So yeah, in real life you would uh, not have this thing on the bottom. You'd have to be going off of memory. So I'll slow down to 50 miles an hour, probably prematurely, but uh, actually, no, definitely not prematurely. This is probably going to be quite close. So, yeah, that, that's the only warning you really get uh, on, on this route that uh, there's speed slowing coming down. The, uh, e the EWS ramp. And we will get a speed board saying we've got to slow down to f 15, though. And we'll start slowing down now. So this service, this, uh, yes, this service and this video are coming to a close. Slowing down ever some more. A bit of the step twos, step two to uh, slow us down a bit more. And put down to 15 miles an hour. We can continue coasting into Lanark Station. And at uh, platform two, there's a six carriage class 303 unit train. I think the only six carriage one I actually put into this, this uh, scenario actually. So there's that. Not the busiest route. Um, lots of points. Probably quite challenging. But uh, yeah, not a lot of trains to be seen. But I do believe that this... Uh, I think I did a decent job at this this, uh, this scenario. It's been a while since I've made one. Coming down to quite uh, slow speed, coasting the train, this uh, double th 314 unit, more or less up to the buffers, <laughs> the buffer stops. And now that we're straight on, we're clear on the Platform 1 tracks. The Class 303 is leaving. And that's our destination reached. So, uh, yeah, that's the video. And that's the scenario. Uh, once again, a link to this scenario will be down in the description as well as the requirements, so make sure you have all the requirements before you try to run it, otherwise some of the trains won't load, or you won't have any trains anyway. So thank you for watching, this is Lanark where this train and this video terminates. All change please, all change.